him on this team? What is he doing? Uh, he's, he's a great guy, you know, full of personality, and uh, you know, obviously you guys can see it. <laughs> but uh, you know, he's a great guy, fun to be around, and he's he's one of the energy guys on that team. One person that has a lot of personality is you. I mean, how would you describe your personality on this team? Uh, I, I like to be known as a uh, great personality, funny, but uh, at the same time, I can be serious at times. <laughs> um, I guess what's the past week been like for you since the, the dunk for you uh, almost? And I murdered somebody in my <laughs> seat. It's, it's been crazy these last couple of days. Um, social media followers have been going up. Uh, the, the national attention has been going up. But uh, at the same time, you know, I was just happy that we won the game more than anything. What was a, any reaction that stood out to you? Somebody that reached out to you or a tweet or somebody? Like Chris Brown. Uh, you know, it's a lot of a lot of famous guys reach out. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard of Famous Los. Famous Los, he's, he makes like funny videos, uh, reactions, reaction videos for highlights and stuff. He reached out and made some, uh, made his video, his own reaction to that video. A lot of celebrities started reaching out saying like, great play, They've been they're going to follow me, they continue to follow me, and all that stuff. And like, uh, it's, it's great to see it's, uh, it's on it. It's never a bad attention to you know, Next year and all that, it's never, that's never a bad intention to have, right? Have all that attention. I mean, it, it depends. It depends on the situation. Uh, you know, it's great to have media, but at the same time, you still want to, you still want the privacy in space. Too. Uh, what would it mean for you guys to finally make it to the final <laughs> for this program? I mean, have you thought that far down the road, or is it just one game? Is it easy to say one game at a time? Yeah, it's easy to say one game at a time. Take game, take a game by game. We have Buffalo. We have Buffalo tomorrow, and then uh, you know, who, I don't know who we're going to see either Kentucky or Davidson. That, that, that's going to be a great game. You know, either team can win, but they're both great teams. So that's going to that's going to be a good game. But we just take it day by day. Right now. I was talking to DeAndre. He said he didn't know where Buffalo was. Did you know? I mean, not Buffalo. Didn't know where Boise was. Did you know where Boise was? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where it was, but uh, <laughs> you're hoping San Diego like the rest of it. To his, to his credit, you know, he's from the Bahamas, so <laughs> you know, so, I mean, you know, no one really thinks about coming to so Boise you when, uh, when you're coming from Bahamas. Yeah. So. Um, have you always been a big dunker? Ah, uh, yeah. High school, and was that always something that you enjoy doing? And yeah, I like to label myself as sneaky belts, uh, catch people off guard, and uh, you know, I try the whole weekend last week. I don't know if you guys realized, but I was trying to catch a body every game. I missed one. I missed one against uh, Colorado. I missed one against UCLA, and I finally caught one against USC. And uh, you know, that's something that I want to be known as an athletic. The athletic guard to show my athletic ability, but at the same time, I want to be a versatile player. It's like a linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Right? Thanks, bro. Thank you. What was the, uh, I've been asking all the guys, when was the last time you saw a man to man defense? We saw some the whole game or just half game. UCLA played man sometime um, a little bit, but, but you haven't. I mean, there's like no team in the pack that plays all game, right? Like no team you guys. in the pack with us. I think we're the only team in the pack that like plays completely man. Every other team plays like half man, half some. So unless Buffalo switches it up, they play only man pretty much. What's yeah. what's that like? How does that change things? Actually, for you I think when we played Arizona State, at Arizona State, they played all man the whole game. Did I? Yeah, they played man the whole game, but uh, it's, it's, we just sharpened up um, our man sets in practice today, and uh, we still going to continue to get better, and uh, it should be interesting to see how we play against man. As a scorer, you'd rather play against man, right? Yeah, yeah as a scorer, you'd rather be play against man, but you know, uh, as a team, zones, everything open up, but uh, you know, we got used to playing against the zone, so, so now it should be interesting playing against the man. What uh, what kind of issues does Massenberg present? Huh? The the Massenberg on their team. Yeah. The, the guy you'll you'll be guarding him a bit. Mm -hmm. What kind of issues does he present for you? I mean, uh, he's, a, he's a good player. Uh, you know, me and him are probably like similar build, but uh, he, I, I heard he can rebound. I haven't really watched too much on him. I know that uh, he's a high rebound guy, kind of like me. He averages two offensive rebounds a game, and uh, you know, it's, it should be interesting. How does it open things up? They're a smaller team, so you assume they'll double and maybe even triple DeAndre. How does that open things up for you? Yeah, it makes the game a lot easier. You know, obviously, you know from that USC play when they double him, I just basket cut. But at the same time, I just have to try to get to the open spots, and he'll find us. You know, he's one of the greatest passers in the uh, in college basketball, and uh, he's, he's playing amazing right now.